Okay, we're back again. Not much set up yet, because I haven't done it yet. Okay, so we're going to cut the thread in here about three quarters away. So when I put the die on there, it should follow it nice and straight and not do this wobble wobble crap, which I don't like. So we're 24 threads per inch, so we need to do some modifications to cut 24 threads per inch. We need to slow the lathe down. And we need to set the speed. So we're going to put this thing in low gear. Right there. Now it's low speed. That speed. Well, that's a little on the slow side, but it's okay. Next thing we got to cut our quick change over here. We need to get 24 threads per inch. That's this one right here. So that means this lever here has got to go to here. And then this lever's got to go to C. And it looks like it's in C already. So this one just needs to move over three. There we go. Right there. Three and three. So you got three and three is 24. Engage it right here. She's engaged. In case you want to know what that does, it engages right here. It's all these gears back here. Go back a bit. This goes one direction. And when you go up like that, it reverses it because you're in a different pair of gears coming through. See this one gear, that's one other gear. Okay. So this our thread dial over here. It drags over on top of the screw. As you move the handle, the thread moves. So I usually like just leaving it one spot. I'm going to engage this handle here. I gotta figure out where it's going to engage at. What do you do with one hand with two hands? Doesn't want to engage. All right, let's see what's going on. So, let's engage there. This is stuck on right here a little bit as well. Number one. Okay. So when we had this partially engaged up in a to make this all feed. It wasn't engaged enough to feed it, but it was engaged enough to lock the system up. So now this is turning. The screw is turning here slowly, if you see it. And the dial stays on this number one. But the machine is moving, see? It's about 24 threads per inch at this point. Now if you got a crappy lathe that you don't trust, never disengage that. Always stay in that one spot. It'll always cut the same. If you're doing metric, you have to stay in that position. Now, theoretically, with a 24 thread per inch deal, I can cut on any one of these four positions. It'll be it'll be repeatable. In the real world, this piece of crap, it doesn't repeat. So, I usually just leave it engaged and just don't disengage it. Okay, I need to change the bit out to a threading bit. Threading bit is a 60 degree angle. It's preferably not killed like this one is. But it'll cut still again. So we'll take this out. Put our crappy bit in here. So I should sharpen that. I'll get it next time. How's that? Okay, I'm not sure the height I need, so just engage that so I can get over here. The problem with this is I'm not going to be able to get in here very far because I have very limited space over here. So I probably only be able to cut just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're low on the low side on my bit. So we're going to have some interference issue with this hitting this. That will cause a problem. So if I go all the way over. You can see I can only cut to here. Whoop. And as this goes in, I got to, I can't go nearly as far, so I'll have to close that even further. So we're probably going to be about that far in. But that's okay, as long as the die is started, it'll cut through after it gets going. But right now, obviously, you can tell I'm pretty damn low. So, see, this needs to be on the center point of this, not way down there. 
So I gotta put a shim under here and move it up. That's what those are for over there. So I'm gonna use this quarter inch one right here. Should give me about where I want to be. I have some other stuff I could use to do this, but I'm not doing a precision cut here. I'm just roughing it in, so I don't really care the finish or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Get the hell with it. I'm not even super critical about being on center of my angle either. If I'm off a little bit on my angle, I'm not sure either. Still got the low side. Kick the angle up a little bit. The very limits of my tooling here. Okay, I can go all the way over there right now. Okay, let's check my center point. So to check your center for drill for um, or for uh, threading, they have a little cheap thing over here. You get right here. So this is your cheater. So this is a 60 degree angle right here, which is 30 degree thread pitch angle, which is what US uses. So if you grind your bit to this angle, you have the correct angle. See, that'd be the correct angle. And also if this was centered correctly, it'd be over here. See, I'm not centered correctly, I'm way off center. So I need to move it centered to cut true. So I'm off a little bit. So I need to correct that. So it's a center gauge. So I'm concerned about being perfect. I'm just roughing this thread in. It's not going to be 100% cut, so I don't really care. So now I need to check this. I can't check it with this. It's too much. So we flip it around to the thin one. And even that's almost a limit now. I can't get to it. So you can see now I'm centered pretty even. With, I'm in parallel with my part here I'm going to cut. So we're on center that way. As long as my center height is close enough to cut on, I'm going to be good. So move that in. And I'm going to, now I'm going to hit again because I moved everything. So see, I'm going to have interference issues. So basically, if I cut any more than that, I'm going to have some interference issues right here real quick. Okay, I'm going to put this in here, get my tangent line. Yeah, it takes two hands to do that, not one. And I'll probably use my other tool so I can chew up that thing. I use my six inch scale. I've done it a million times with this damn thing, so it doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so we check to make sure our tangent angle is vertical. It appears to be vertical, but it's a little on the high side, which means I'm a little high on here, which means it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna rub instead of cutting. I need to be a little bit lower, I'm too high. So I'm gonna have to loosen up and change it. And of course that's gonna affect everything else. Try not to move anything else, but you always move stuff when you move things. See, it's kicking all over the place. So come back and recenter it. Close enough. Come back and check it. Okay, so now the tangent line's a little bit lower now, see now it's slightly going this way, and that's about where we had it before, it was dead enough center before when we checked it, so it should be about just about right, and I re-centered that back up, so this is now parallel with that also. Okay, so now we're getting pretty close to cutting time, I need to get some cutting fluid, we need to reset our dial over here. So, a little oil on the thread. Just sit over there. Ok, 
Okay, I like being on number one. Being on number one. Yeah, jam in here and go back and forth so we're engaged so it's not moving. See, it's, it's so much backlash I have in the gears. And it's always just engaged on one. I'm going to keep it engaged in that position. Leave this off. Just fully engaged. So now it's going to go in. Now what I forgot to do is I need to go ahead and figure out how much we're going to cut here. And you're supposed to put this at... Uh, Eh, what the hell number I forget now? It's been so many years since I've done this stuff. Damn, I can't remember what the hell the angle is at. 30 degrees. So you should put this at 30 degrees. When you move it in, it cuts evenly. So it won't it'll cut as you move it in, it'll won't cut the edge. It'll it'll cut this thread away here, but not cut the one next to it as you feed it in. But I'm just gonna plunge it straight in and the hell with it, I don't care. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to go until we touch. Right there. So it looks like number 9 is where we're hitting. So I'm going to put this on 10 and then make a pass and see what happens. So first you've got to get off the edge. So you can back out. Go over here to number 1, which was right here. Re-engage. See, we're really close. Put this on number 10. And I'm going to feed it in. Everything's engaged right now. So everything's moving. Feed this thing right in. So we should be cutting 24 threads per inch right now. When we get in too deep, we're going to cut, we're going to hit our chuck right here. So we can't go in too far. So that's about the maximum we can go. And then what I got to do is I got to cut the, pull this thing out while we're turning it and just slow everything down and not run out of chuck. That's the fun part. So, put the camera, yeah, I'll put the camera over here first and see how I work the lathe. Turn it back. Okay. We were at 10 before. So now I'm going to give it, uh, I'm just going to give it five more. So it'll be 10 and a half. And do it again. Disengage this before I get to that point. Okay, so I'll put up. Got about an eighth of an inch to spare. See, I got that much clearance. Threads are getting cut deeper. And it actually looks like a thread kind of coming in there now, see? Now we can try to put the die on here right now and see if it'll cut. I think when I'm doing the cut a little deeper, you see we're still just we're still engaged here. So now we're gonna go ahead and back this thing up. Reverse. We're disengaged out of here, so we're not hitting. Hit reverse. It goes out of here. See? Okay, that's far enough. We went 10-5. Go, uh, let's go 10, 10, 8. So it's feeding right now. See how it's feeding. Dials are all working. So this is going to do a light cut again. Okay, i got to disengage it. Need two hands to do that. That was a very light cleanup cut, not very heavy. This time. 
here and you can see better, I'm not sure. Eleven is right there. Here, so I'm going to disengage. Get this out of here. That's a bit too far back. I need some oil. So I'm going to go ahead and put the die in there right now. And we'll see if I can get this thing to start reasonably. Now, if it just goes right on nice and loose, you cut too much. You get to remake it. Shouldn't be that much. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put our die up on here and try to start this thing. See if I can catch a thread. Okay, it's catching the thread now. Take this off and see how close it is to catching it. If it wobbles a lot, it's not very good. If it's straight, we're good. Not too bad. A little bit of wobble, but we're just getting the thread started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way in there now. Set screw. This locks it in gear. It engages this big gear into that gear and locks it solid. So it's just a big mouse here. It's solid. So now I can put the die on there and force it in there without having the chuck move on me. on the damn throws in a chuck. It's hard on threads. That did not help the big threads. That's another reason why I did a lot of cutting beforehand. Okay, so now that I screwed the threads up a little bit, we're gonna do something a little different. Spun the threads in there, which did not help those any. So I need more holding power now to hold this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put two nuts on here, tighten them up, and then put the nuts in the lathe and use that to hold it, and I can cut deeper. But you can see how the die threads are right here, and these ones I cut. When we get over here, we're going to have to cut. Actually, these don't really matter if I don't have to cut. I just need to get these down here, about to here. Is all I really need to go to, but I'm gonna put some dies on here to protect these threads. I probably should have done that before first, but yeah, I'm too busy talking, not paying attention. Okay, I'll be back.